welcome back to another episode of modded minecraft of all the mods so i this is like my fourth time recording this um because either it wasn't recording right i wasn't happy with the footage or i just didn't record the rest of what i was doing so the goal in today's episode um recap what i did what footage i had to delete we went to the nether or at least I went to another. I had to go and collect some soul sand. I had to go and get. Um... We are trying to make a tree farm, by the way. We're trying to make an automated tree farm so that we can upgrade our power a bit over here. Because although right now the the windmill itself is doing pretty well, um, we're, like surprisingly well, it's powering this little farm that we have going on over here. And then on top of that, it's powering some few things so to get um to get the things that i needed for this harvester because this is the way to go i i tried this the the stone chopper iron chopper stuff like that uh it's not very fast nor is it very good we have it down here right there it's very slow i have to constantly keep replacing something because it's you know it's breaking but I don't know whether it's the trees themselves are not growing quick enough or this is not doing its job. I don't know. I want something a little bit faster, a little bit more reliable, but there's also a byproduct that we have to do something and deal with, and that's with this harvester because it's going to create some sludge, but it is 10 times quicker than what I was going to use. For this, uh, we are going to need a sludge boiler, I believe, if it produces that. Uh, which, if I remember correctly, with uh, Mine Factory Reloaded, it does. But we needed to get dark steel, which dark steel wasn't too much, but we needed an alloy smelter to get iron, crushed coal, and obsidian. I have a lot of obsidian. The obsidian and iron was not the problem. The crushed coal was a little bit of a problem, but not too much. That was still fairly easy. Um, but here I'm kind of spoiling it because I have this here. I did get the alloy smelter, but I had to make the pulverizer to do that. And then I got the dark steel by making the, you know, the alloy smelter and doing this so on and so forth. Then for this, we had to get the Z logic controller, which then we had to make a slice and splice, which we needed solarium for and solarium. We needed soul sand and gold. So you gold again, or at least I did when I'm, making this but we need that well i finally got all of that i got the z logic controller and then i had to get two more solarium and then another zombie head which i had to go out hunting which is why i have this cleaver here because uh this has beheading on it which is a higher chance of mobs dropping heads or skulls whatever and lo and behold it took a while not too too long but i had to constantly keep it trying we can finally make the harvester, which took a lot longer than we needed. But now we probably need to make a sludge boiler to get rid of it, which this is not too bad because I have the plastic. I can make this with iron and so on and so forth. So that's not too bad. So what we want to do with this, and also what we're going to do is we're probably going to do a little bit of building. Anyways, enough of the rambling. Let's get to actually working here. So. We can finally get rid of this. We can use these trees to test. We're going to put the harvester here, which we need to turn around. Oop, oop, right there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's make a workbench. Let's see. Do we have what upgrades do we have? So these increase the radius. What do you cost? Raw plastic, not too expensive. We need to start growing some plastic trees then. Um, let's see. This is the four. So yeah, so we can get to probably up to diamond is which we want, which is a radius of nine by nine, which is not too terribly cheap. We have a lot of diamonds, like so. We're we're not short on diamonds here. It's just the plastic. Stupidly, I melted up. So, is there any way to turn that back into raw plastic? There is. 
to smelt it again. Nice. Okay, let's go do that and actually in our alloy smelter over here. Because then we can do three at a time. Let's see if we can't get that upgrade. <laughs> Let me get everything into order and I'll be back with you guys. Alright, so it's been a little bit since that last clip. Um, it's been about another day. <laughs> I've been having some problems recording this episode. So I may put some snippets of it here and there. Uh, I don't remember where. Or I, I'm not sure how this is actually going to work out. But uh, just in case if I, that footage becomes unusable because my recording software is being a bit weird, especially with Minecraft, uh, we're going to make a bridge and a sawmill uh, because in the last clip we made the harvester here, which looks like it needs to plant more trees. So uh, it can do a nine by nine. So we're just going to do something like this. <clears throat> Once it's getting power from our windmill and we have upgraded our wire system to the medium voltage. So that's what's powering these here. Now the whole goal of this is to get as much wood as we can and to upgrade our power going on here. Eventually we're getting close to upgrading our windmill. But up here <clears throat> we have some steam dynamos. Now a lot of things can be put into this wood. Uh, blaze spawner or er, blaze rods, coal, so on and so forth. Anything that could be burned in a furnace, really. Our, our main goal is to get a blaze farm, and then that would be our power source for this until we can get into extreme reactors or nuclear craft, which I have never touched on before. But uh, I think we're going to do a couple different mods. We might go with nuclear craft. It may be a little bit more tedious, a little bit harder, but I never used that mod before, so it may be interesting to do. So what we're going to do now is actually I have materials to build a bridge and we're going to move this farm and we're going to put it over there and clear out that patch of land. I already have a bridge. I, I did a pre-build of the bridge because I'm not good with bridges. Um, so I, I kind of like pre-built the bridge. But I think I'm just going to like wing it on the sawmill because what we're going to do is we're going to put it down here. Um, we're going to move the farm. We're going to put it over there. And then we're going to put a water wheel in a saw, sawmill kind of thing down there, steampunk style, medieval, um, not really sure what to really call it. But we're going to put that down here for the, like in the water. And that will also generate some power, which would probably fuel or power our farm here and those two things over here. But we'll see. The, the episode may be a little long. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how many of the last footage I could save because of my recording software. Thanks. So with this, we're gonna make it come from here to there. So I think I want it to start here. And three over, oop. And I, th I think that's how I had it. So I kind of have a, a reference. We're gonna need a lot of oak. I, I don't build too many bridges, so if this looks like crap, we'll, we'll try and fix it later on down the line. So, all right. Um, matter of fact, actually, I'm just going to build this off camera, and I'll just show you progress updates of what it looks like, and we'll touch it up from there because, oh, <laughs> there goes my wood. Uh, I didn't add detail. Uh, the thing I was just trying to work on the most was to get it to look like it's curving down uh, in a natural progression, but everything that I did just kind of didn't look right. So this series, I am I am a builder, but I'm also more of a technical guy. So I am working on my building skills, and that's what we're going to learn through this series. <laughs> Just how to build, really. So, all right, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, so it's not, not perfect. But uh, this is what I came up with. Like I said, I didn't add any details. I just wanted to get the somewhat of a natural look of it kind of bowing down like gravity taking effect of, of it kind of coming from a sharp angle coming down and just gradually going to it so because it's you know coming from a sharp angle uh, off that cliff there so I, I, I th that looks somewhat decent so now I'm gonna go through and get some fences and put it along there it's gonna be a rope bridge just kind of connecting from there to there and then we'll build the farm and whatnot over here Probably right there is where we'll put the sawmill since it's kind of like the end of a river. 
Not sure that it looks like it bends around. So yeah, right right around there would be good to put the water the water wheel and then the sawmill. So when we get to work on that, I'm gonna put the fences up there and we'll take a look at what that looks like. And hopefully it will look good. And then that should be the end of the episode once we finish with that. I'll get back to you again real soon. Alrighty, I just finished up with the bridge and hopefully it looks pretty good. Um uh, my shirt is all fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> but um yeah, here's the bridge. I, I put the I put fences along the side of it to make it look like rope and actually underneath I have it kind of dangling down a bit to make it look like the rope is, is hanging down. It looks a bit monotone for me, so I may actually change it up, but I'm not going to deal with that at the moment. I may change out the uh, oak half slabs for spruce and keep the oak, or the oak like rope looking kind of stuff. So I may do that just to give it some more color than to be just this kind of tan. And just for safety, let's put some torches up here. And then, like I said, this farm is actually going to be moved over there. And then we'll have some wiring probably come down from there, since that's where it's beginning. I'm going to come down and then shoot across. I'm going to have to get some power lines for that, but we'll see. Then again, we're going to have a water wheel over there, so I'll kind of power that. I'm going to go to sleep because I hear a witch. Are you inside my house? Or inside my windmill? You underneath the windmill? Which is probably because it, this goes all the way down. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> so I think for this, let's see. We need to kind of mark out two locations, one for the sawmill, which probably gets to the, or what we're going to do now, and then a water mill, which probably get to the next episode. And I think the water wheel should go here. This is the biggest part. Yeah, that'd probably make the more sense or the most sense. So <clears throat> probably gonna have the let's see, probably the wood farm. Mm. So we'll put the building here, but I think the farm itself would be kind of over here. Or I wonder I wonder if we should do something like this. Uh we do have an immersive engineering has conveyor belts. So I'm wondering if we actually put it up here, we have to get rid of this. Oh, I didn't want to fall into it. I believe that's sludge. Yeah. That's the stuff that we're producing. Oh, goodness. But we'll put the tree farm up here and we'll put the building down here because I know water herb. Sawmills, they have the logs running through the water so they can chip off the bark and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if we should set the, or set it up over here and then have conveyor belts kind of take the logs in real life would be you know a pretty big log what is this anyways uh and then it would be put through the water to soften the bark and then we'll strip it down so on and so forth you know cut it in half so we'll kind of have like uh two buildings like a small building here kind of like the holds of the machinery and then down there we'll have the actual building that would strip down the bark and then we can have if we want a conveyor belt probably I don't know if we want a conveyor belt or something else that would lead into our power system there. Hmm. We'll see. We'll kind of want to make this place look industrial as, as possible and steampunkish, but then we'll, we'll still also explore different mods. So, like I said, for Thomcraft, which is what we have over there. So, I'm going to. Let's see. We'll do the water wheel another episode because we're going to have to get steel. Let me go get the materials, the rest of the materials together. I need to go over there and get the harvester itself and put it over there. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty. So I got the harvester over there and it's cur currently harvesting trees. I may have to remove it. Uh, the trees at least for now so that it can build up power and then it can generate it. But running from there all the way to there, I know you lose power the further the cable. And I think you need like a transformer to amplify it and stuff like that which let's probably take a look transformer so something like this i think it is oh no that's from low voltage to medium and then from medium to high 
It's probably something that we should also look into as well. Um, current transformer. I would have to look more into immersive engineering. It's been a long time since I actually messed with this mod. But temporarily, there's like two of the medium voltage relay wire things up there. Because I didn't want to... Yeah, because like right now there's two blocks missing. But this is just a temporary setup. It took me a while to, to kind of get these to where they need to be. They're at the maximum distance right now. So this windmill at the moment is currently powering those two items over there. A farm over there. So before it was able to keep up, but like I said, it's losing power from this long distance. So I need to do something. So once we get that water mill going, let's see how uh, water wheel, oh, water well. Once we get this actually up and going, then we can actually get power here and not have to do the this whole thing here. Which, I mean, once I get the land maybe built up more, it may look better. But right now, I, I kind of don't like that. I, I don't like the wiring go from all the way from there to there. It might make more sense if I had something down below and the wiring came from there and then out. But to kind of connect all the way up to the windmill, it just, it just doesn't look good. Like, it looks good on the other side from over there. Let's take a look real quick before I go. The wiring here looks good because it's actually coming off a balcony from here and then making its way from like power lines, you know, and it doesn't over it like goes just over the, the path, which is not which this is not going to stay here. So these are kind of going to be irrelevant. Matter, matter of fact, all of this wiring here right now is irrelevant except for you know, powering this at the moment. But we'll have more things here. Again, the farm and stuff is going to be more over there. But this looks good because it's actually coming out of there, from there to here. So, but you guys have to tell me what you think of it. And if you like the video, let me know and leave a comment down below. Give me your feedback. Give me suggestions of what else I should build. Where, like, where this pack should take me. I'm open to suggestions. I, like, you know, I'm just having fun playing it, but. My recording software is giving me a lot of trouble. Uh, it can record just about every other game except for Kingdom Come Deliverance. I haven't made another video on that only because that game, every time I record, I drop below 30 frames and it just becomes unbearable to play and unbearable to watch. So right now, that series is kind of ending. But um, for this one, yeah, again, just let me know what you guys want to see. I'll try and put it in. Anyways, that's all the time I have for this video. I hope you all enjoy it. Bye-bye.